I'm gonna be taking you along with me to my trip to a provincial forest. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where it is. It's here in Manitoba. And we're gonna be camping in my Mini Cooper, which is gonna be really interesting. I haven't done that before, if I'm being completely honest. I'm nervous. I'm pretty nervous about this. We're also gonna be hunting for grouse. We brought venison for dinner that we're gonna cook over the fire. We're also gonna be camping alongside a river. The plan is to wake up first thing in the morning, make some coffee, wake up with the sunrise, and then hunt some grouse. So it's gonna be really exciting, and I am pumped to take you along on this crazy little adventure. See you later, buddy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll be back tomorrow. Go on. I've officially put more shit in my car than I think is possible. And I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get to camp, but we'll figure it out. Figure it out then. Woo! I'm really excited. It is 2, 2.27, 2.30. We're heading down the highway. It's about an hour drive. Okay, so what my plan is, there is there's fresh tracks going into the campsite, so luckily I have a reconnaissance device. <laughs> and we're gonna send this up and see if anybody's there. somebody's been here with. Okay, I want the car to be level, but I also kind of want to bring it in more here. And I also just want to have it facing this way so that if I had to get up and go in the middle of the night, for whatever reason, I can just drive straight out. I'm so excited. Can't hear a thing. It's like literally like whispered. I think I'm gonna have to sleep in the bag tonight. Oh my god, I forgot a fucking pillow. We have a wood platform. I took out the back seats. Got a little mat here for a little bit of insulation. Two sleeping pads, gonna sleep this way. Have a sleeping bag, bag and then have a really nice warm blanket. Um, and worst case scenario, if it gets really cold, I have a zero degree sleeping bag that I can put inside this sleeping bag. Worst case, worst case scenario, I have a Mr. Buddy heater. Problem is I don't have anywhere to put the Mr. Buddy heater in here, so I'm gonna keep some warm clothes on. I'm gonna crack the sunroof a bit so condensation gets out. I don't have any insulation on this. It's gonna get cold in here. I haven't actually tried this like in the sleeping bag yet. I'm gonna have to sleep in like crouch position, but this ain't gonna be that bad. I wanna see who's at that other camp, so I'm gonna take off from here and just see if I can take a look. I'm not worried, take off. but it's a little weird. Home point updated. Regino. Oh, nice new comfy chair. never used this stuff before. I don't even know where I got it. The fire start is starting. Dude, this fire start is like a 10 out of 10. Igniteo fire fire starter. This I hope is, oh, the banged up. Half decent. At least it comes assembled. Last time we were here, my buddy Owen, he, he bought a barbecue from Amazon. And we had to assemble it when we got here. It didn't come assembled. Uh, oh, these are the legs. That's actually, are these the legs? For the price? I'm gonna I'm I'm keep this, man. I like the, I like the color. It's good. Oh, that's, mmm. These are my favorite.
Yep. Got some fast. And some fancy. Watch most of this. Water bottle. Damn, that gets hot. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the leftovers. Damn, that works. That works really good. So my plan to stay warm is I'm gonna wear this thermal layer as my shirt. It's 13 right now, and I think it's supposed to get to like six tonight. Some nice fleece. I have some thermal ones too. If I get even more cold, I don't. Okay, so tonight we are having deer steak with rice, which I should probably put beer in it. Put some beer in it. This is. Oh, this is gonna be. So what I did with this deer was I cleaned it. Cleaned it first. What cleaning this does is it takes off all the deer fat. Now deer fat has not the best smell or taste to it. It's kind of like, it, it makes it a lot more gamey than it really needs to be. So a lot of people try and remove deer fat from their meat so it tastes better. I dry age this in the fridge on a rack. So put it in the fridge for a day or two and I put a rub on it, a dry rub, just consisting of some basic spices. Like I promote rubbing your meat as much as possible and it tastes better. I keep looking behind me. I swear to God, I think there's a bear behind me. My shock. Does it smell good? I think she's. Whoa! I don't like the weird noises it makes. I think she's ready. Plop it down. Oh yeah. Sounds a little better. I wish I had some some type of oil, but I do not. It smells so good. I wish you could be here, just smelling it. Flip this bad boy. Butter her in there. Butter her. Hmm. That rice is pretty bucking. So I have sriracha. Let's cut her open. Yeah, rare. Oh my gosh, very rare. It's not bad actually. Bigger piece of meat than I thought. Honestly. I take back what I said. This looks pretty fucking god. Okay. I mean, you can't really see me, but I want to show you what I got here because it, it looks amazing. So we have a taco. Taco has mayo, sweet chili sauce, rice, deer meat, um, and then we have just deer, Thai sauce, and sweet, what did I say? Thai sauce? And then just rice. So I, I only made one taco because I was like, I don't want to make it. I just want to eat this. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to really enjoy this. And then have another beer by the fire and get ready for bed. That was good. Uh huh. Okay, let's go for this. It's tackle. Oh my god. I might be giving that a high score. Right now, it's hitting at about a 10. Normally, it'd be about a 8.5. to be bold. Dick, dude, that's the worst sex of all time. Nobody fears my dick. Other like women in parking garages, they... <laughs> you get me in a parking garage all of a sudden, oh, my dick's time for the food chain. Oh, you're no. working behind a pocket of state, dude, you're not. It doesn't happen overnight, it takes time. I actually cannot believe I have no pillow. It's like the one thing that I really wanted to have. It's so crazy. Anyways, today was uh, today was really good. One of the problems with this setup is that the car is very small. That being said, I'm pretty comfy right now. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem sleeping here. I'm awake. I actually had a decent sleep. I just woke up and I went to turn on this light and it didn't turn on and I had a panic attack. I was like, there's no way. My battery died and I'm stranded here until somebody could come to this remote location and, and boost my battery because I don't have a booster. Anyways, it started. We're good. Look at all this fucking haze. Literally looks like I'm in like a movie. Just like 
haze. I think I'm gonna pack up and head somewhere. I just wanna enjoy this though, partially. So I didn't really expect there to be any partridge in here, but I wanted to come check it out because I saw it on the drone and on the map and it looked beautiful. It's just like this random lake in the middle of nowhere here. There was a sign that said, this is under surveillance, but I looked it up on my maps that I purchased and this isn't owned by anybody, this is public land. But there's docks here and on Google Maps and Apple Maps, there's pictures of float planes on here. So I don't, I don't totally understand if this is, is private or something. I'm not gonna hunt it anyways. I just wanted to come take a look, but I was gonna hunt it. But nothing to hunt anyway. I'm in the middle of nowhere and I love that. <laughs> just love being out outdoors in nature, exploring back roads. It's fun and the Cooper's been great. She's been trucking. I just found two of these little kind of back roads. A long trail but I don't seem to be able to see any in here and I bet you there's gonna be people like why are you doing this one? I have no idea what the fuck I am doing. I'll tell you that for sure. This trail goes for quite a while. Sure, this is used for hunting because there's an opening ahead. You could take a truck through here pretty easy. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. Um, I do really appreciate it. It's very nice for you to watch the video. Let me show you this quick. I'm at this beautiful lake, the lake that I was at previously, but a different side of it. So I'm just gonna park up. I might make some food. It kind of looks like it's about to rain, but I can't tell. This is good. We're gonna do this more. Thanks.